Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So today I'm making a video on habits to start at the beginning of 2019 to really enrich and improve your whole year. So the first habit I am recommending is dedicating five or 10 minutes a day to self-care. Self-care is such an important thing. And I don't mean self-care like internet shopping or like indulging your bad habits and like sitting down and eating a whole tub of ice cream. I mean really sitting down and doing some yoga, some meditation, some reflection on the day or the week you've had to really help clarify your mental state and improve your physical state. I find the best sort of self-care is stuff that combines mental and physical well-being, so like yoga or going to the gym. I also recommend self-reflection. This has really helped improve my week-to-week -week life, reflecting on what went well and what didn't go so well in the week and this can be done on a grander scale reflecting on years or just reflecting at the end of each day. I myself am not that big on journaling but I really want to start it because I know that when I do do it it does help my mental state feel a bit clearer but I'm just not. I just struggle to like keep myself doing it. So the second habit I recommend starting is dedicating an hour each day to working on your personal goals. We all have that little side thing that we enjoy doing aside from our main job or our main study and it can be really beneficial to your mental health and your creative energy to dedicate an hour each morning or each evening or in the middle of the day to work on this thing that makes you happy. This is really getting into the flow of doing what you enjoy and really dedicating yourself and dedicating yourself to improving on this thing that you enjoy. The third habit is the habit of spending less on items that you don't need and spending money on items that will enrich your life. So a lot of people just frivolously buy stuff. I myself have definitely just frivolously bought stuff in the past. I felt a bit down so I go online shopping or I felt a bit stressed so I buy like a new top. This is not a conscious way to spend your money and it really doesn't add any value to your life. So in 2019 i recommend focusing more on spending your money on the things that matter like experiences like time with your friends and saving it up for a big travel saving it up for holidays really dedicating your money to where you want it to go instead of watching it just kind of like trickle it out of your bank account so the fourth habit i recommend is taking care of your health and checking in with your health so it's so easy in the start of a year to say that you're going to get fit go to the gym in january for the first like three weeks and then drop out of this and it's very unsustainable as well the way lots of people do it because they say they're going to go to the gym six times a week they're going to have one rest day and they just get tired so I recommend going to the gym three times a week, doing some exercise that you really enjoy. Whatever it is, just dedicate like three days a week where you're gonna do this and check in with your health, check in with your body and like how are you feeling? Are you feeling energized? Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling sleepy all the time? Do you need to supplement anything? I myself supplement vitamin D, B12 and multivitamins because I like to stay in a health and the last habit that I would recommend starting is taking the time to take care of your relationships. So relationships need to have energy put into them. I'm such a lazy friend. I am very good at remaining friends with people and feeling close to people when I don't talk to them for a long time or I don't see them for a long time and I forget that this doesn't always work both ways. So I personally know that it's quite hard to invest time in friendships and this doesn't mean that you don't care about the person, it just means that you are the type of person who is a little bit of a shit and just doesn't need the same sort of investment. But if you wanna be friends with someone that does need investment, then you have to take care of that relationship and let it grow. So these are five habits that I am working on personally in 2019. So getting up at 6.30 in the morning, between 6 and 6.30, I find when I do this, I have time to do uni, go to the gym and all my other stuff on top of it. When I don't do this, I find that I'm stressed and I'm running around a lot and it's just like not working. So I need to get up early in order to do everything I want to do. And I want to get up early because I genuinely feel like I'm more energized when I get up early. I go to bed earlier so I feel better and I have a better sleep routine and I sleep better. So the second habit I want to build in 2019 is implementing night and morning routines. I find these are a great way to start up and wind down from my day. I find that I sleep better when I have a night routine and I'm more organized when I have a morning routine. I did post a morning routine video and I'm pretty happy with how that morning routine goes. I do want to add some yoga and some meditation into it and I have tried that a bit, but I'm still like getting into those. I find it really, really hard to dedicate the time into yoga and meditation. 
but I know that better, like busier people should meditate more. So the third habit that I have done in the past quite consistently, but fallen out of recently, is writing weekly meal plans. So I'll do this on a Sunday, and I find this saves me so much money and so much effort in the supermarket. I have my meals already planned out, so I know exactly what I'm gonna eat. I fell out the habit of actually sticking to them. Of course, these are lenient, like they're not like you have to eat this. And if you are setting a meal plan, make sure it is nutritionally balanced. So the fourth habit I want to get into is setting daily to-do lists. So I do do this and it's okay. I usually write down either too many tasks or too few tasks. So I need to like kind of find a good balance on my to-do list. So at the moment I put down like what lectures I want to revise, little uh, tasks that I want to get done throughout the day, daily chores that I want to do, stuff like that. I also set some targets like tomorrow I will get up at 6.30 and stuff like that on my to-do list so that if I get up at that time in the morning I can like take it off my to-do list and be like yeah great job and the fifth habit I would like to start in 2019 is trying new things so I recently started dancing and I've never danced before in my whole life but when I got into k-pop I was like damn I want to dance like that so I took myself to a k-pop dance class with my friend and then we joined a cover group and now we are dancing a lot so it's really fun and I enjoyed this trying new things some more new things I want to try are like pole fitness that would be quite fun and it really does enrich your life when you try new things it's really fun learning something new and it's really fun kind of getting into something new and improving i really like seeing myself improve when i was younger i was really frustrated when i wasn't like immediately good at something but now i quite enjoy the process and a bonus little habit i'm gonna get into is not spending money at fast fashion stores i am getting more into charity shopping and buying second hand so i think one of my main goals for 2019 is gonna be to not buy a piece of clothing from fast fashion stores unless i have a gift card because i did get a gift card for christmas and i don't want to waste that so yeah those are my 2019 habits that i recommend starting and habits that i am personally starting i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you have a great year and a great 2019 thank you so much for watching and if you like this check out some of my other videos follow me on instagram at plantstrongtam like comment share and subscribe if you want and have a nice day